Hi guys, uh, so we're gonna do a quick A-line setup today. So for your A-line, you need a pressure bag, you need a 500 liter uh, milliliter bag of normal saline, you need the A-line tubing found in our trauma carts, um, and then if you are putting it in a radial arterial line, you need um, an arm board as well. In addition, you also need the clip that we're gonna throw the transducer in once we've zeroed everything out, um, and then the pressure cable that's gonna plug into our Phillips monitor. So the first thing that we do is we roller clamp our fluids, we spike our bag of normal saline, um, and then we actually don't depress the chamber. We're gonna have the pressure bag do all of the work for us. We hang the fluids in the pressure bag, and we're gonna pump the pressure bag up to 300. That's our happy level. Uh, we shouldn't have a blood pressure of over 300 in one of our patients. So we flip the stopcock open to the port, like so, and it's going to allow us to pump air from here into the pressure bag. And you can actually feel the pressure bag and watch as it goes up to 300. It's gonna give you a little bit of an arm workout. Once we're done, the pressure bag is ready to be flushed through the line, and then we can eventually use it to set it up for our patient. After we're done pumping it up to 300, you want to flip the stop cup up towards the pressure bag to keep all of the pressure in the bag. For an A-line, we want to flush it through in segments of threes. Um, I break it into three parts. The first part is from the pressure bag to the transducer. The second part is from Stop, the first stopcock to the second stopcock, and then the third part is the part that's going to inevitably connect to your patient. To flush it, we open up our roller clamp like we would our regular fluids, and we're going to work at the first stopcock. So we turn our stopcock off to the rest of the line. We open our tab up and we're going to flush it through by pulling on the tab here. We flush it until we see fluid come out and we make sure that there is no air in the line. We replace the cap with the cap that's in the package and then we open the stopcock back up to the port. We go to the second third. We're going to go to the second stopcock, turn it off to the last part, open up, flush, and wait for this to come through. We'll see our fluid come through and then we're gonna make sure that there's no air bubbles in our line as well. We replace our cap, we open the, st open the stopcock back up to the port, and then we have our last part, which is the part of the line that's actually gonna connect to our patient. So with the third part, it's easy. We just pull the tab and wait for the fluid to flush through the line and make sure that there's no air bubbles left. Um, at this point, our line is ready and we can zero it out on the Phillips monitor.